Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my channel Rosology. So this video is for my Pisces and that is Sun, Moon, Rising, even Venus. And this is your September 2020 energetic forecast. So we have a huge stack of cards to get through regarding your September right here. But also what I have down here with these three piles is something that I've wanted to do in these monthly Zodiac videos for a while where I include a mini pick a card message for each Zodiac sign instead of just having one message for every single Pisces, you know, so I kind of wanted to get a little bit more detailed. I'm not going to be going in depth with these three piles down here. I'm basically just going to be reading the descriptions of the cards um, and these three piles for you. There will be a brief meditation session towards the end of the video to help you pick which pile is speaking to you um, after we have gotten through this message over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this off and we're going to get started tackling this pile to see what your September 2020 has in store for my Pisces. All right, Pisces, now let's get started with your tarot cards down here the very first one that we have is the king of swords in reverse and we have the emperor so you're definitely unlearning something this month pisces for some of you i just heard that you're unlearning how to treat someone in your life because you may have allowed someone to be in your life without without much clarity, without defining their positions, role, or place in your world, or you may be in someone's life and they haven't defined your position, place, or role in their world. King of Swords is one of the clearest cards in the Zodiac. He has journeyed through the entire suit of swords where he has battled indecision. He survived doubting himself. He has learned who he is through these experiences. And because of that, he has mastered the art of perception. He is in reverse for you, Pisces, saying that you are unsure of something happening in your life this month of September. You are unsure, but you really, really want answers. You really want to know with this Emperor card right here. Um, you really want to know. And the Emperor card is the king of all kings in tarot. Now, a big factor for any confusion or disillusionment is Neptune moving throughout your first house. And Neptune is your ruling planet. When Neptune is direct, it's hard to find clarity in her energy. But Pisces, you're used to dealing with Neptune. You know many of Neptune's secrets being a child of hers. So normally you'd be more accepting and understanding of not really solidifying a title, role, or a label. But with this particular situation, person or instance you want to define what's happening and um you know for and i actually want to define what's happening so i'm going to actually flip a clarifier uh, card here but you know for some of you you just recently started something new like maybe a job a relationship you may have just gotten a new place or moved to a new area um you know you started something new recently a new chapter new project, new goal, something. And this emperor is you getting used to your surroundings, pretty much taking everything in. Maybe this is like a new lifestyle. But let's see. Let's see what you want clarity on. We have the sun card that just came out. The sun, the two of wands. Okay. The lovers in reverse. Let's get one more. We have the two of swords. You guys see that? You guys are really, really, really unsure. And then we have ten of cups underneath. Yeah. Okay. So this is like a relationship for many of my uh, Pisces. This is a relationship. You're trying to figure out where you stand in your relationship with someone with this lover's card right here. The sun right here talks about illumination. It talks about awareness. It talks about, again, clarity, because that's what the sun is. The sun is also um, the ruler of Leo, and it is, um, well, the sun card is not the ruler of Leo, but the sun, the star, <laughs> is the ruler of Leo. And um, the sun is, like I said, it's all about illumination, awareness, clarity. The sun is very, very clear as to what it is. It's so clear we can hardly look at it straight on. Two of Wands is all about sort of like planning in a sense. It's all about taking that kind of vision that you have in your brain, you know, that, that goal that you have in, that lives inside of your brain and wanting to bring it to tangible fruition, wanting to bring it to the 3D. The lovers over here clearly is talking about a relationship. The two of swords is talking about indecision, not really knowing. Ten of cups talks about a family finding fulfillment in some sort of family unit or dynamic. So for sure, for very many of you, this is talking about a relationship. And for others of you, this is talking about the next chapter in your life. 
How do you move forward? What is the next goal? What is your purpose? Why are you here? What is your direction? You're really searching for direction for very many of you. And that's what you really want to get um, clarity on. For others of you, like I said, this is a relationship that you want clarity on. It, it is where you stand in this relationship. Some of you as well are dealing with the person romantically that has a family of their own. Um, so like maybe they're newly divorced, maybe they're getting a divorce, maybe they just broke up with someone, I don't know, but I, I feel like this 10 of cups is kind of saying like, where do I fit into your life? Being that you already have a family, you already have kids or something like that. Um, you know, you may be dealing with somebody that's older as well. And 10 of cups is ruled by, uh, Pisces. Two of wands is ruled by Aries. The lovers is ruled by Gemini and the two of swords is ruled by, um, is ruled by Libra. So, you know, you could be dealing with any of those signs as well as the sun, like I said, rules uh, the sign of Leo. So you could be dealing with the Leo as well, any of these signs here. Um, but yeah, that's what it definitely looks like you're trying to find clarity on this month of September. So let's go ahead and check out your next cards here. So the next card that we have, look at that. We've got the King of Cups. And he's even looking at this emperor over here. Then we have the star in reverse. And then we have the high priestess who is also in reverse. Okay. Another king here. And this king of cups is upright. So for some of you, like we just figured out with the uh, a couple of clarifiers card here, this is definitely a relationship. But the king of cups is also solidifying. Like, yeah, for, for very many of you, this is definitely a relationship that you're wanting to define because this person has left you questioning um, what this is. Someone's actions don't necessarily add up with their words. Someone's actions are not adding up with their words um, or vice versa. Their words aren't matching up with their actions. And this has led many of my Pisces to wanting to know what the hell is up. This is like, are we doing this or not sort of energy? What are we doing sort of energy? And your heart is in this with this King of Cups right here. The only thing that you know for sure about this situation is your feelings are real and they are getting involved or your heart is in it. And now that you are feeling your way through this experience, this relationship, job or situation, you're much more serious about defining things because you're like, listen, my heart is involved now. My feelings are involved now and I need to protect myself. The star here is someone that is capable of miraculous things. The star, she survives the destruction of the tower card and she goes on to rebuild from the rubble, from the debris of that destruction. Your star is in reverse saying there's a fear here of having to rebuild yourself or of having to pick up the pieces because you got hurt um, by this person or by this situation because the situation didn't end up working out because the situation ended up being a tower moment for you. You're really, really um, worried about that in a sense. You're being very cautious of this and the high priestess is a card of intuition, instincts. Instinctively, you are a bit triggered in September because you can feel yourself becoming more and more emotionally involved in whatever or whoever this is and you are getting more involved without knowing what's going to happen or where this other or where this other individual stands listen the sun is moving through your seventh house pisces this is the house of partnerships and it's moving through your seventh house in the sign of virgo virgo focuses on every little detail because virgo relies on determining what someone's or something's value is to them virgo is always trying to evaluate if someone or something is worth the effort time and energy that they are willing to give because virgo gives a lot of itself once it is invested so you may be noticing every little detail and trying to interpret every little thing like they said this I wonder what that meant when they said that I wonder what that meant when they did that you know it's like it's like you're kind of um it's like you're kind of trying to dissect every little thing that this person says or does or every little thing that results from this situation. You're hyper aware of everything surrounding this person or situation because like I said, you're putting a lot of energy into wanting to know or to gain some clarity as to where someone else stands. So of course you're gonna be trying to interpret every little thing um, that comes of this person or this situation because you're trying to figure out what this is. You're just simply trying to get on the same page so you can protect yourself in your heart. You're just you're just not really wanting to give to anything that's not serious long term or that's not willing to invest back into you. That's the biggest thing here. You just want to know that there's something to look forward to outside of all of this besides a broken heart or having to start over and rebuild from scratch with the star uh, in, re in reverse card right here. That is really like your your worst case scenarios, the fact that you have to pick up the pieces. So let's go ahead and check out you guys' uh, oracle cards here. Very first card that we have, 
Cancer I Feel. Then we have Mars Force. And then we have Grand Trine Blessings. And Pisces, I believe. Okay. So there's a lot of feeling and believing, but not a lot of knowing, Pisces. That's where you are trying to exert your will um, with this Mars Force card right here. In September, many of my Pisces are going to be demanding more clarity, more definition, more meaning, more purpose. The blessing here for you as well with this Grand Trine Blessings card right here is knowing. Knowing if someone or something is worth your time and investments, especially with the North Node in your fourth house, which is the house of security, roots. This is pushing you with this Mars card right here, this Mars energy, to prioritize building a solid foundation around you with consistent, solid people. You could also be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, or Pisces uh, with these cards right here, as well as something is really coming together for you in the month of September. This Grand Trine Blessings card right here is full-on alignment. It's this Emperor card. So, you know, this is connecting with something that is meant for you and only you. You've definitely got some blessings to look forward to this month, Pisces. I feel like one of your biggest blessings, though, for sure, is gaining that clarity that you're really looking for or demanding. You're really going to know where someone or something stands. You're going to know where you stand. You know, you're you're going to hear something where it's like it really clarifies the entire situation. That way you're not kind of like left up left up in the air just waiting to kind of fall anywhere and mars force um as well we have mars going retrograde this will be happening in your second house in the sign of aries and he'll be retrograde for a little bit um but for sure you know this can really kind of pull on our energy for um this this can really kind of pull on our energy so as well um especially if you have mars and cancer or mars and pisces something like that um be very careful with your energy levels because they could fluctuate a lot with him being retrograde so you know make sure that you're getting enough rest make sure you're getting an adequate amount of sleep of water of rest relaxing not working too much not overworking yourself not not make sure you have a lot of balance in your focus okay so make sure you're not overly focusing on your relationships and not enough on your career overly focusing on your career and not enough in your relationships like make sure your focus is balanced across the board throughout the month of September, okay, with this Mars card here. And with him going retrograde. The next card that we have is peace. And it says, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy, okay? Then we have here, surrender. And it says, I can release my need to control, okay? Then magic. And look at that clarity. Yep. So we have the card clarity here. This is what I've been talking about your entire reading, Pisces. This month is all about you defining the terms, finally getting an answer. And, and oh, that blessing card. Okay, this blessing card right here could also be referring to you receiving an answer from maybe like the government or a court, a decision being finalized, maybe with like a job or career, um, maybe something like a loan at the bank, uh, may maybe you're trying to buy a house, a car, rent someplace, something like that. So, um, you know, this could be some sort of a big decision that you've been waiting on for a while to get some sort of an answer on that the way you can know how to move forward, how to progress. So, yeah, but whatever answer you receive concerning this situation, do not fight it, surrender to it, accept it. One of the reasons that some of my Pisces may feel restless in this situation, especially if you are dealing with another person, like this is some sort of a relationship uh, situation, is because you intuitively know, you know what this is, you just don't want to accept it with this high priestess card in reverse like i said that is more so of a message concerning my my pisces that are dealing with another person you're kind of wondering where another person stands with you um you kind of already know where they stand you just don't necessarily want to accept it with this high priestess card in reverse that's where the surrender card is coming in at for those of you waiting on like a decision from like a court or waiting to hear from like a bank about a loan or buying a house or something like that i don't really think like intuitively you're hearing too much on that but like i said when it comes to another person my pisces you guys are 
masters at being able to read people. You literally have all the energy of every other sign in the zodiac in your sign. So you guys know how to read people. You know how to read certain situations. And you kind of know intuitively what's going to happen almost all the time. It's just a matter of you actually listening to it and trusting yourself. So you'll know if that applies to you or not. Now, if you are genuinely in the dark about someone or something, because sometimes we can be very much so in the dark uh, with another person, especially if this is like a new person and you really don't know how to read them just yet, that part of the message might not resonate with you then. But for example, if you keep calling someone or texting them and they respond every now and then, other times they never even return your call or your text, those are pretty obvious signs where that person stands. And you may know like they're not as interested as I am, but you're also trying to give them a chance to develop more of an interest in you. And that's how we block out our intuition and what we sort of feel or know. Um, So don't fight the, the kind of actions that you're receiving from this person like i said somebody's actions aren't matching up with their words but don't fight what it is that you're receiving from this person if they're not really calling you back or texting you don't keep blowing up their phone don't be like hey you never call or text just kind of you know lock that in the back of the brain take note of it and move forward accordingly now moving on here to magic magic is again this grand trine blessings card acting on your magic is again this grand trine blessings energy acting on your behalf and with this mars force card as well this is saying that you have a lot of potent magic or energy in you so make sure that you are investing this magic or energy in the right place and in the right people and not into someone or something with limited interest um or with you know limited invested or with limited investment back into you you deserve someone's full attention not part-time attention but you will get clarity this month with this peace card over here you will not go into october without knowing unless you are rejecting the answers that you receive and the signs that you receive that will be the only way that you start out october without like really knowing or with still sort of feeling a little bit confused about the situation let's go ahead and check out your goddess and spirit animal cards for the month. So we have here, Athena, inner wisdom, you know what to do. Trust your inner inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay, yeah. Then we have, look at that, you guys. Again, Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered, like this Grand Trine Blessings card down here. Then we have here, Ixchel, Ixchel, I don't know if I'm saying it right, <laughs> Medicine Woman. You are, a, you are a channel for divine healing power. Okay. And then we have Wasp Spirit. Sometimes life stings. And we have Mouse Spirit. Tend to the small things. Okay. So you see this inner wisdom card right here with the Medicine Woman. Um, it says you know what to do just like the high priestess like we were talking about the high priestess card down here it's a matter of accepting it and this expect a miracle card right here Pisces if you are waiting on a decision to be finalized for many of you it is happening right in your favor expect a miracle magic blessings the emperor this is something coming through for you and you finding peace after it because you don't have to fight this anymore it'll finally be over you don't have to wonder anymore you don't have to hope wish and pray anymore it will finally be over there will finally be closure with a really big situation that's been sort of like pending in your life for a while now i don't know why i keep picking up court some of you could be getting a divorce um fighting for custody trying trying to settle for something um this is going to go exactly how you want it to or how you need it to for very many of you use magic use the magic of manifestation as well to work that final ruling in your favor pisces because you are very very capable of that especially in the month of September, you've got powerful energy behind you. And look, Medicine Woman is basically the star card down here. Like I said, the star card is a superwoman because she survives. And what she decides to do with her second chance, her second lease on life, is to rebuild something even greater and better. And she's going to rebuild a bigger tower. She's going to rebuild a stronger tower where it's like, yeah, you know what? If this if this new tower gets struck by lightning, it's going to be even bigger destruction because I'm building something even bigger, even grander, even stronger. So the destruction would be even worse. She's willing to take that risk because she's like, you know what? I deserve to rebuild. I've 
I've always wanted that tower. I've always wanted to live in that tower. So I'm going to I'm going to build something better, something stronger. It's like that tower couldn't even knock her down or stop her. Pisces, that is exactly who you are. You are basically the star card. My Pisces survive everything because that is your superpower as a Pisces. Your sign is naturally a gifted healer. You know how to call on forces to act on your behalf. You are literally a channel for other energies. So tap into that this September. Do not let the situation or person make you forget your power. And wasp, sometimes life stings. Like we talked about, accept the answer that comes in. Do not try to fight it. We don't always get the answer that we want, but we do always get the answer that we need. It's important to look at it as like, not like you're being rejected, but as though you're being rerouted to something or someone else that is meant for you. And that's also a, a kind of a message that came through for Leo really strongly. So I don't know if you are also a Leo sun, moon, rising or Venus, um, but that message came through very, very strongly for my uh, Leo energy for the month of September. So you can check that one out as well, whether or not you're a Leo sun, moon, rising or Venus. Um, but you know, like I was saying, we don't always get the answer that we want, but that's because we're not being rejected. We're being rerouted towards the pathway that is meant for us. And mouse spirit tend to the small things. This is the energy of the season, being that we are in Virgo season. That's all about the details. Like I mentioned earlier, you may be noticing every little thing because of this Virgo sixth house energy that you're dealing with. So you may be hyper focusing on every little thing. You may be hyper aware of every little thing. That's that mouse spirit right there. Let's go ahead and check out you guys' health cards here for the month. And so we have so we have the card Fresh Air. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me breathe easier in all ways. Okay. And we have, look at that, divine intervention. And it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for being with name of person in need and for helping with describe the situation. I have faith in divine intervention and I fully accept your guidance now. Something is coming in to act on your behalf like this um, expect a miracles card down here. Something's definitely coming through. Actually, I want to keep that card out in the open. So I'm just going to... So yeah, divine intervention for sure is this expect a miracle. It's this grand trine blessings. It is the emperor coming through, magic coming through, the star card coming through. This is a Pisces, I believe, Mars force. This is something coming through really, really strong, really, really clearly um, that is kind of intervening on your behalf. Like I said, for very many of my Pisces, you have a decision coming in that is going to work in your favor. So you can also expect a miracle as well as you can also expect some sort of divine intervention, some sort of divine energy to act on your behalf in your favor and fresh air make sure that you're getting out and like i said earlier um make sure you're sort of like rationing out your focus in a way where it's like it's balanced that the way you're not focusing too much on work and not enough on other areas of your life or you know something like that that's what fresh air is also also kind of saying to me um as well as in the literal sense you know make sure you're getting outside getting in the sun getting in the air kind of you know doing things like that to kind of refresh your energy kind of reset your energy reset your mind because you may be very very focused on a lot of the little details that are happening in the month of September and that can cause anxiety in a sense if you're focused on every little thing it can cause a bit of anxiety so I think that will definitely help now these cards right here are your relationship cards like family friends you know um, people like that these are your romance cards and we'll be getting to these after these two cards here so we have the very first card the very first card is integrity. The energy of integrity supports our choice to be consistently truthful and honest while being guided by high moral standards, okay? And then we have first chakra, which is the root chakra, and it says the energy of the root chakra supports our sense of safety in a physical world and reminds us to enjoy our physical bodies, okay? So this is all about a little bit of pleasure, Pisces. Don't get so wrapped up that you're forgetting to flow. You are Pisces. It's all about flowing. It's all about feeling. So don't forget to flow. Don't forget to experience pleasure. Don't forget to experience laughter, joy, love. Don't forget to, to experience some happiness and some joy in the month of September for sure. Like I said, you have your North Node in the fourth 
house, a house of security. So you're establishing or building more stability in your life. You're creating a foundation so you don't feel so displaced. And that's what the first chakra is. It's all about security, feeling safe, feeling grounded. Mice don't feel safe usually because they are aware that they are prey to most animals. And this makes them very skittish. You know, they're very skittish sort of energy. You're focusing on feeling more stabilized in September. And that's coming for you with this integrity card over here. Integrity is all about coherence, harmony, not being skittish or displaced or ungrounded. So this is what's coming to your uh, relationships as well, or it will be your focus in your relationships this month of September is you feeling safe and grounded with the people in your life. The more integrity that someone has, the more harmony they'll be able to provide to you, Pisces. But an ungrounded person cannot provide you with stability. An ungrounded person is going to make you feel ungrounded. They're going to make you feel uh, pretty skittish because they're going to make you wonder what the fuck is going on. You're not very clear. You know, you're very... um ambiguous you're very vague i don't know how to take you so when you're dealing with somebody that that has a lot of like ambiguity to them or a situation that has a lot of vagueness to it it's going to cause you to be a little bit skittish because that situation isn't clear you're looking for clarity okay let's go ahead and check out you guys' romance cards here the very first one that we have is free yourself and it says it's time to take back control of your life okay Then we have chemistry, and it says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Then we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And the final card that we have is new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay. So this definitely looks like new love for my single Pisces. This is not an old or familiar energy at all. <laughs> new love and worth waiting for is talking about timing, being the orchestrator for you in terms of your love life. This is all about you focusing on other areas of your life so you're not wondering where this person is with this free yourself card over here. Like I was saying, make sure that you are balancing out your focus and your attention that the way you're not focusing too much on one particular or specific aspect of your life. Um, the more you focus on this, the less likely you may feel like this is to happen the more that you focus on love and where is this person at when are, when am i going to meet them when are we going to be together you you know the more that you focus on that the less likely that you may feel like this is going to happen for you it's kind of like when you stare at the clock how time feels so slow but when you place your focus elsewhere it's like eight of wands very fast moving energy and chemistry is talking about this honeymoon feeling that you're going to experience with this new person like they will have the sensation of like blowing your mind feeling like you've never met someone like this before for my Pisces and relationships, you have the ability to transform your relationship or the dynamic between the two of you. So whatever is happening, you have the ability to transmute it, to transform it. Like the medicine uh, woman card down here, you are a channel for divine healing power, not just within your own life, but within your relationships as well. The star card, she rebuilds, not just for her, but for other people as well. King of cups down here. This is a energy that is able to replenish itself, that is able to fulfill itself. So you have a cup that overflows that you are able to provide for other people being a Pisces. So that's what new love is saying for those of you in a relationship is you can bring that spark or chemistry back and it's worth it to put in the effort and time that it takes to get your relationship back on track if this person is worth it to you if this relationship is worth it to you as well as focusing on your own projects and goals and interests will also do a lot of good in your relationship because like i said you're spreading out that focus you're spreading out that attention so you're not hyper focusing or hyper aware of every little thing happening in your relationship that the way you're not assuming like oh my gosh, this just happened. That means that this is going to get fucked up or that means that this bad thing is going to happen. And it's like, no, that might not even be the case. But because you're so hyper aware of every little thing, you may be kind of starting to kind of fill in the blanks yourself with like, they said this, that means that and it might not even be the case, you know, so make sure that you're spreading out your focus that the way that anxiety isn't starting to like overwhelm you or, um, you know, make you anxious. Okay. So this is it for this part of the reading for my Pisces. I'm going to bring back those three piles and we're going to get to you guys' meditation. So, um, yeah, I'll meet you guys over at the meditation. All right. And on pile number one, we have a blue lace agate. On pile number two, rainbow fluorite. And on pile three, 
Amazonite. In my pile number one Pisces, you guys chose the blue lace agate. So like I said, I'm not going to go in depth with your reading. I'm just basically going to be uh, reading the descriptions of the cards just in case there's any sort of uh, messages that I missed in your more general reading. Okay, so let's get started. Very first card that we have here is cilantro this is a card of letting go trigger statement this is not the way it is supposed to be true statement i'm free lift up your burdens and allow the divine to free you from them allow yourself to be cleansed of anything that is weighing you down okay next card that we have here is alcade i think i'm saying that right and it says good things take time growth does not happen overnight i love that symbol and then the card that we have here is Dumavati. I think I'm saying that right, but I'll be reading the description for this card out of the book. But first I'm gonna be shuffling um, from this chakra deck right here, just to see if there's any sort of chakras that my pile one Pisces need to pay attention to, or, you know, spend some extra time taking care of this month. So let's see, okay. <laughs> That happened fast. So um, we have the sacral plexus or sacral. Why do I keep calling it the sacral plexus chakra? We have the sacral chakra, uh, the card of inspiration right here. And then we have the heart chakra, card of love. Okay. And I'll also be reading the affirmations for these chakra cards out of the book. Okay. And what it says for Dumavati, this is the goddess of disappointment and letting go. Oh, wait, hold on. We also have the card of letting go right here. Oh, that's creepy. Okay. <laughs> It says in the book, you, my darling, have finally realized that all the hardships and struggles you faced were brought on your path for a very important reason. They've shaped you to be the person you are today. You've put together the dots on all the most difficult points on your journey and realized that it was all necessary to be here now. Dumavati has come to remind you to give thanks to the struggles that you faced. They have made you your highest self. Wow. The affirmations for these chakra cards here, and you can use these affirmations throughout the month of September. The affirmation for the heart chakra love card is I am love and love is me. The affirmation for the sacral chakra card of inspiration is inspiration is constantly flowing through me at all times and I am inspired. Okay, so this is all that I'm seeing for my pile one Pisces. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I pray these readings brought you guys love, support, clarity, strength. Let me take this time to thank your guides, my guides, our higher self, amazing spirit for these messages. Hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon, but until next time, stay safe, stay blessed and keep conquering the world. Bye guys. All right, in my pile two Pisces, you guys chose the rainbow fluorite. So like I said, I'm not going to be going in depth with this uh, pile here. I'm just going to be reading the descriptions of the cards um, just in case there's any additional messages that I may have missed in your other more general reading. OK, so let's get started. See what your September has in store. So we have here the card of fennel and this is the card of alignment trigger statement it is not my fault true statement i take full responsibility shift into your body and listen release the emotions you've been storing and move forward okay i like that then we have here the card akartha i think i'm saying that right not sure uh this is the card separation and conflict turn your problems into opportunities treat hostility with kindness wow I like that turn your problems into opportunities and then we have the card here budai uh, i don't know if i'm saying that right but it is in reverse and i'll be reading this uh, the description for this card out of the book but first we're going to be shuffling some chakra cards here just to see if there's any chakras that my pile two pisces need to look out for or work on in the month of september so let's take a look so very first one is the crown chakra peace card the root chakra card of family. All right, and what it says for this card, Buddha, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but this is the card of inner wisdom and intellect, and it says you've done a great job at listening to your parents, teachers, friends, acquaintances, and society. However, you are still left clueless to the deeper questions. Why are you here on this planet? 
Now it is time to go deeper. Let go of being the perfect child, student, friend, employee, citizen. Question what you have been taught. Ask if it is tr truly serving you. Be ready to experience the shattering of the universe that happens when you wake up. It's in those pieces that you put your truest life back together. Your Budai wisdom will guide you. Wow. All right. And the affirmations for your chakra cards here. And you guys can use these affirmations throughout the month of September. So the affirmation for this root chakra family card here is I am at peace and at one with my family. And the affirmation for the crown chakra peace card here is peace exists in each moment and within every cell of my being. Okay. So this is all that I'm seeing from my pile two Pisces. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do pray these readings brought you guys love, support, clarity, and strength. Let me take this time to thank your guides, my guides, our higher self, amazing spirit for these messages. Hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon, but until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and keep conquering the world. Bye guys. In my pile three Pisces, you guys chose the Amazonite. So like I said, I am not going in depth with these readings. I'm just basically reading the descriptions of the cards just to see if there's any additional messages that I may have missed out on with your more general reading that we just did, the bigger reading that we just had. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out my pile three Pisces. So the very first card that we have here is I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I can't. So this is the card of reduction and devastation. Pay attention to your flaws because in them you will discover your affinity with others. Okay. And then we have here the card oregano and this is the card of resonance trigger statement i am right true statement i am open to the unknown you are being shown what is dissonant in your life allow the beliefs that are no longer serving you to fall away and be open to your bright future i like that and then next card that we have here is ganesha and so i'm going to be reading the definition for this card out of the book um, but before we get to that, I'm just going to be shuffling a couple of chakra cards here just to see if there's any sort of chakras for my pile three Pisces that you guys need to really pay attention to or work on for the month of September. So let's see. Yeah, we're not doing all that. Definitely not doing all that. Okay, let me keep shuffling. cards pop out we have the crown chakra meditation card we have the heart chakra inner child we have the life purpose throat chakra card and we have the third eye chakra psychic development card okay all right Okay, and for the Ganesha card, this is a god of new beginnings and remover of obstacles. You are right at the beginning of a new venture that is going to bring you great joy and success. Ganesha has been removing the roadblocks placed before you, granting you a smooth transition into this very moment. These roadblocks do not exist outside of you. However, they are the fluctuations of the mind represented by his vehicle, which is the mouse. And that's interesting. We also have pulled the mouse for your... um other reading when you calm your wavering mind you are able to overcome any obstacle ganesha will continue to bring you good luck success and harmony with the sweets of ananda which is the awareness of your true consciousness as bliss oh i like that okay and i'm going to be reading the affirmations for these chakra cards down here and you guys can use these affirmations throughout the month of september so the affirmation for the heart chakra inner child card here is my inner child is free to express love and joy the affirmation for the crown chakra meditation card here is i meditate with ease and grace and my heart awakens to the divine peace of my soul the affirmation for the throat chakra life's purpose card is i'm in divine alignment and living my life purpose and the affirmation for the third eye chakra psychic development card is i am deeply connected to my intuition and reclaim my psychic gifts now wow okay so this is all that I'm seeing for my pile three Pisces. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do pray this reading brought you guys love, support, clarity, and strength. Let me take this time to thank your guides, my guides, our higher self, amazing spirit for these messages. Hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon, but until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and keep conquering the world. Bye guys.